So you saw him get up and walk away after that fall? Oh yeah, like a walking, talking angel man. Can you describe it? <laughs> get out of here! You're wasting my time! Twenty people saw him, man. Not a single one can describe him apart from being bald with a tattoo on the back of his neck. You really think it's the hitman? I don't care if it's the fucking tooth fair, I'm gonna get him. Detective. This was left at the front desk. Kid said, give it to whoever's looking for the hitman. Next matter of order, Dexter Industries versus Kevin Zimmerman. Trespass. Where's the prisoner, Sheriff? <clears throat> Your Honor, uh, the uh, prisoner had a uh, unfortunate accident in his cell this morning, and uh, he's on his way to the infirmary. Mm, I see. You think he'll pull through? <laughs> Not looking good. I... He fell pretty hard. <coughs> Case dismissed. Well, I think I'm gonna... mosey on down to the jail and check on the jailbirds. Hi, right, Your Honor. Versus Timothy Hawk. Charged with three Good day to you. So, I assume you'll be joining the rest of the ladies for the girls' night out next week. Oh, no, I don't know. I mean, those things aren't really there. I'm not, I'm not, the, I'm, <laughs> it's just not my kind of thing, you know? Hey, you don't have to get all defensive with me. They aren't exactly my cup of tea either. Cup of tea? <laughs> You're no. funny. CDs? Okay, I stole those. Fair enough. But... Oh, 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 whoops! There's no charge on the CDs. Don't go talking about any CDs. Whatever. Look, the owner is a real criminal here. Give me a big ride like that on the street with the key and the ignition and the doors unlocked? Now that is a crime. This is why I'm the lawyer and you are not. 
You see, it's not illegal to leave a car in the street, but it is illegal to take something that's not yours. Hi, you new in town? God, what I wouldn't do for a cigarette right about now. Ah, relax. Just tell the truth and you'll be fine. Yeah? There's nothing in here for you, sir. Turn around. you hear me? All right, all right. Jeez, I'm only asking. It was real good of you. I appreciate it. Who's that? So he only does it with British people or why? That's all right, a, now who's screwing uh, around out here? It ain't funny, all right? So, moving on. Hey, you want to go uh, grab a bunch of shots later? I mean, uh, if this freaky judge doesn't lock you up. Well, sure, unless you're an Anglophile, because I'm all American. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, just a Codexophile. Ooh, sounds exciting. your hands where I can see them. We're going back to the courtroom. You will not speak to anyone or stop for any reason along the way. His honor is not a patient man. Come on, get moving. to have you back. Take your place at the desk and let's wrap this thing up. A judge is given considerable latitude in sentencing cases such as this. Context is taken seriously. 
In all my years upon the bench, I don't believe I've ever sentenced a man to much more than the minimum sentence for the crimes of which this court has found you guilty. In your case, however, I'm availing myself of the opportunity to hand down the maximum penalty. Two years confinement in a state penitentiary, minus time served, and a fine of $10,000. Confinement to be served at Rapid City Minimum Unit. Done. Someone make the necessary arrangements and get this convict into a keep. You heard his honor. Get a move on. Let's go. Court will now take a 45 minute recess. I should just give you your own goddamn key, that's what I should do. <laughs> well, I heard the judge finally gave you a real sentence. I've been telling you about this, you dumbass. One day you're just gonna cross the line. Now you're gonna be stuck in a cell with some big dick. <laughs> but don't you worry about that, my friend. Anyway, the place is locked down, got some uh, disturbance going on, so the good news for you is we got a nice cell away from the bad boys, for now. It's a goddamn Shangri-La compared to where you're gonna be spending the next two years, missy. Hey there, pecker puller. An old friend just came back. You gonna say hello? What the hell's wrong with you? Can't you see I'm reading my daytime stories? <laughs> daytime story, whatever. Just keep your head down and you'll be okay. He's all yours. Yep, Merry Christmas to you too. No, I'm sorry, it's not PC. Happy holiday. years. 
Today's my last chance. This afternoon, I will pay for my mistakes with my life. It's only fair. I don't know if you've read the paper. My life is a mercenary and all the pain it would cause. Most of it is true. I should be scared of dying. Guys. All right, you hold still. I'm coming to you. Don't do anything stupid, Slick. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I think I heard something. Uh, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm gonna check it out. Hey, set that fella down by them. I ain't sure. Come on out now. Hey, yeah, Chloe. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, no, that wasn't anything. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Got a new coffee on the station? Thank you. 